Hello, everybody. Dave Neal here, stand-up comic host of Bachelor Nation News. I'm already, <laughs> I'm already cracking up at this video. I try to keep my composure, but this is the funniest story in Bachelor Nation. Claire Crowley claps back uh, uh, at Yosef, and then he responds. The beef spills onto Instagram. She waves that finger at him with that big knuckle and the the old you know she got a you know, you, you know how it is when you get your nails done you got that fresh manicure energy that's where that's what Claire is right there he crossed the line we're gonna get into it of course I'm gonna get a, a a larger number of men responding calling me a simp this is how it works out I don't know I'm, I guess Yosef's on one of those lists because there's a whole bunch my audience and the bachelor audience are on 90% women I'm gonna show you a video I made where the response was 100% men siding with Yosef so my guess is there's some sort of like men's rights uh, subreddit somewhere that's like Yosef did the right thing let me tell you something I disagree so we're gonna get into it I'm gonna share with you guys the uh the comments follow me on Instagram at Dean Neils and also patreon.com slash Dave Neal we're at 299 members and I promised you guys when we hit 275 members I was gonna do a vintage Dave uh video so I'm gonna be editing that video today and tomorrow and releasing it on Friday that'll be uh clips from my first season recapping The Bachelor which was Ben Higgins season um <clears throat> so we'll get into all of that all right so uh, Justin takes the batch, one of our good friends over here, uh, New York's finest, uh, originally from Georgia, a peach if you ask me, says, I honestly cannot even believe that ABC aired men in their Speedos last night. Gosh. And then uh, someone said, can someone please let these women know Yosef has a daughter out there? And then um, Claire responded, it never, ever gets old. Or maybe, hold on a second, no. Claire wrote that. Can someone please let these women know Yosef has a daughter? And then someone responded, it never, ever gets old. Either way, it's funny regardless. We'll get into Yosef's response here, but I have to kind of catch you guys up. So I'm going to try to play this in very small bite-sized moments because I don't want to get taken down by the uh, sort of YouTube algorithm. But here's the video that started it all. Yosef wasn't on a Speedo date. It was guys, you know, that boy, boy band energy, Kenny had the nice eight-pack abs. They're on a Speedo date. Uh, part of Yosef's points I agree with, and it's important to let people know where you agree. I agree that finding love, if that's just the point of the show, shouldn't have any objectifying of men or women. With that said, the show is about ratings and having fun, and the audience is mostly women, so there's always going to be a Magic Mike-like scene. If you say, well, they don't do this on The Bachelor when the women, you know, of course, of course they're not going to objectify a bunch of women. They've done that in the past, and I think uh, the audience has spoken and said, we don't like that. So if you do want to admit that there is a double standard here, yes, there is. Bachelor data could provide the receipts. The men on the show show more skin than the women in these objectifying moments because it's a little bit different guys okay guys don't walk down the alleyway and wonder if they're going to get jumped and uh you know have a atrocity committed the way women do now it doesn't mean it won't happen men will get beat up for sure but they don't walk around wondering if someone's you know they don't have to walk with their earphones out and be on high alert with pepper spray in their hand in a city the way women do so situations are different okay we have to we have to acknowledge that all right let's hear what yosef had to say I've sacrificed a lot to be here. I'm yeah. missing out on time with my daughter. Yeah. And so he basically says, I'm, I've, uh, you know, this is when I think he first brings the daughter into the situation. And it starts as like a pretty positive thing. You can see from Claire's energy, she's like, oh, he's sharing with me. This is nice. And then you can quickly see how it turns sideways where Claire's like, oh, it's one of those conversations. A completely classless display. Mm -hmm. I expected a lot more from the oldest bachelorette. Oh, no. Been. Oh, no. This is where age gets into it. He says, I expected more. This is like how when you're when you're when you're like teacher scolds you. I expected more out of you, Johnny. He goes, I expected more out of the oldest bachelorette there's ever been. And I, I can't believe I can't believe that that actually occurred. So he continues to beat down this point for two, three minutes. And honestly, when I watched this, you can go back to my recaps from a couple seasons ago. When I watched this, my thought was producers were telling him that, you know, like nail this point down and we'll give you a bonus. There's no other reason why I think he would nail this down so much because he had his original point. Hey, I find those dates kind of classless. Boom, done. Walk away. That's end of the convo. He goes, I wouldn't want to subject my daughter to this. And then Claire responds saying, that's why you weren't even on the date. So 
We have a problem, I believe, in our country where we get offended on behalf of others. It's like you're, some, you're sometimes offended on behalf of people that aren't even upset. So the guys on the date weren't even upset. And yet Yosef's like, oh, but the, you know, so he's got this sort of faux outrage we see that happens, which is kind of a waste of bandwidth, if you ask me. Here's Chris Harrison. Remember him? Changed dramatically after the strip dodgeball date. A date you you weren't even on. So he tells him, you weren't even on the date. And then Yosef's response. And again, you can learn a lot about a guy based on what other contestants think of them. No matter if I was there or not, I can have my own opinion about it. And, and I didn't bring it up with, you know, really like any of y'all. No, I know, like... but, the, but once you start saying it, it makes us three look like because we're the ones that did it. Really. Yeah, so they're saying, you're making fun of this thing, but there's Bennett looking like, you know, Batman in disguise. So so then, you know, Yosef responds, and this is where it gets a little out of control uh, with fan favorite, Blake Moynes. Therefore, in a way. No, not in a yeah, way. Yeah, it was, it was kind of Listen, I'm sorry you can't express like how you feel like as a man to someone, but... So when you say as a man, this is what, you know, when people go like, oh, toxic masculinity, this is part of the problem. You should be able to express yourself as a human and not worry about, as a man, I need to come out here and hold on to my balls and tell you how I really feel. Just say how you feel. Right here, Yosef's not expressing himself, regardless of it, as a man or a woman, not important. He's not expressing himself well because he's putting an attack on Blake. Now listen, I don't mean to make this a whole deal right now, but Blake chugs me. Maple syrup. This is Canada's finest. He gets the national anthem here. Um, so it just gets uglier and uglier. And then you've got other people that, you know, have done very manly things like play professional football. And also from the University of Rhode Island, my alma mater here, just be like, are you kidding me? Completely First, understand where you're coming from. No, First, no, shut the f up, Yosef. Then you just took it to. So <laughs> STFU Yosef. And so we'll play one more clip here, I believe. Let's go. Let's. Uh, Let's see here, the 205 mark. Go right to the 205, just trying to catch everybody Your actions, up. do you have any regrets? No, I have no regrets. I mean, the thing is, I mean, everything I said was factually accurate. I don't... And that's the problem. You're, you're hiding behind accuracy. Like, you shouldn't... Like, sure, the show shouldn't be objectifying the men with stupid things like that. Totally understand. That's not the problem. The problem was, is he kept hammering down the point after he said it to Claire. They kept on following each other around, and it was just nasty. He says, oh, you, the oldest bachelor, he used her age against her. So that's not a manly thing to do. A manly thing to do would be to take the high road. That's my opinion. So then afterwards, you can see this is an old video of mine, uh, Bachelorette supervillain Yosef sinks to new low. My name is Yosef Abarati, and many of you may remember me from the most recent season of The Bachelorette. Um, where I said some pretty controversial things to Claire Crawley. Here Claire are Crawley. I expected way more from the oldest bachelorette. Hey, she's all yours, boys. Calls her the oldest bachelorette. That, uh, she's all I yours, boys. To the men tell all and got to hear from the guys. Here's what they had to say. Okay, I was on a date. Yeah, I was too. And so was Damar. At the end of the day, Yosef, like, we could have said no. But I, I just don't get because you weren't there. But once you start saying it, it makes us three look like because. So what happened was there was a dodgeball date. Where all right, so we get into all of that. Right Let's play. see if we can you know go forward here to the rest of his video. I no, shut the f*** up, Yosef. You came at her. You yes. called her classless. You were out of line. Riley. And this is coming from Riley Est. Moments <laughs> of reflection and... Um after what all the guys said to me and everything claire i don't want to be a man like that and i want to apologize good for you and to all you guys i'm sorry i made you feel stupid um i'm sorry i'm a terrible person riley you should be and uh you know i want to make amends for how i acted I'm just kidding, guys. Uh, happy April Fool's. Oh, uh, good. Yeah, so great. All right. Um, yeah, hey, yeah, it's fine. It's a fine April Fool's. So the comments under this are hilarious. Yosef's the real man. He's not a weak simp. He's an absolute dog. Stood his ground like man. Shout out to Yosef for being the only person on the show with balls. 
Um, he stood up for his values. That makes him a hero in my book. Uh, rational thinker says that. I love Yosef. I completely agree with him. And I'm a woman. You're ridiculous with this commentary. The fool is you, Dave. Yosef was being real and authentic. Again, these are all people I've never heard of before that have never commented on the channel, which again means they're not even Bachelor. They're not even watching the show. They're just kind of... Dave's really displeased at getting called a simp. I wonder why. <laughs> uh, you know, it's all simp Dave. Simping for Dave. And I don't care... If you think I'm pimping for Dave, you're simping for me, man. I would highly suggest going to Dave Neal's YouTube page. Okay. So anyway, here's Yosef's response. Kel Johns, our good friend, says Justin's account is about to be on national news with the T. And then um, uh, da -da -da -da, Justin says, FYI, this was posted with permission. And then I go, what did you do? So here's Yosef Ab 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 Abarati's response. Not everyone has experience being a parent and father or being responsible for a young, impressionable mind. As I am both of those things, it's my duty and honor to protect my child. Now, again, no, no lies spoken. Protect your child from whatever, you know? Do what you got to do. Be a good parent. The problem is, in any case where you take that high ground of moral superiority, you're immediately going to get called out. Someone said, just lean in, bro, and have a laugh with us. Bachelorette uh, Tings, Bachelorette Tings says true, but it's contradictory coming from you. You spoke to her in a way that no child should witness, and it was ultimately degrading and disgusting. You even went on to say that you would want someone to talk to your daughter the way you spoke to Claire. Did you think about that? Someone said, then don't let her watch TV shows for adults. Pretty simple. Now Claire responds. Oh, boy, we got Claire responding right here. Let's get some breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. Claire steps into the ring. Well, I guess you should be thankful to ABC for protecting your child's impressionable mind and not airing the other 20 minutes of your rant that couldn't be shown on national television. Claire says, feel free to reach out with anything further, any further concerns or comebacks to the actual date team who come up with the dates. Now, and, you know, look, hey, that's what he should have done. He should have started a petition or made a thing saying, this should not be going on. It's unfair. Only the men have to do these speedo dates. The women have, don't have to do bikini dates or whatever. If that's his case, take it up with the production team. He has to know that Claire's not responsible for this, right? Claire's a cast member. Claire doesn't come up with the dates. Yeah, sure, she goes along with it to an extent, but she's also collecting a paycheck from the show. She also has to play along. She is a co-worker here. Other responses, clapback queen, Claire Crowley. Instead of worrying about the influence of television on your daughter's mind, why not worry about the example you've set by treating women the way you have in your past? She will Google your name and see the stories of things you've done and said to women. Dude, you went on a reality show with a storied history of showing skin and sexual behavior. Grow up. Yosef responds. I think we all know that situation could have been handled more appropriately. All right, I guess that's the closest to an apology he's going to give. It could have been handled more appropriately, but I don't seem to remember an extra 20 minutes of ranting. By the way, this is the perfect opportunity for ABC to dig through the archives and say, you know what? Here's the version you guys are looking for. They won't do that, but that would be fun because they've got all the footage here. Let's talk about the fact that you put your hands on me, pushing me as I was trying to walk away, or how you proceeded to stick your finger in my face. Why don't we both say that we could have handled that more gracefully? I own my side. You can own yours. I don't think the date team had anything to do with that part. Um, he's right that the date really had nothing to do with the way they handled themselves. Could, could Claire have handled herself better? Sure. Whenever somebody gets upset, it's almost like the other side won. Not necessarily like the other side's right, but it's like, you know, sure, it would have been better if she just sort of walked away, just walked away and said, you're out, go, get out of my face, and, and that'd be done. No, but she stands up for herself, and that's her style, and you can't fault her for that. The question is, how did the wildfire start? It really started with him throwing some real jabs at her. It really started when he said, I expected more out of the oldest bachelor, bachelorette. Isn't that the most judgy in sort of thing you can say? Also, talking about a woman's age is pretty, that's a pretty low blow. He basically pulled at what is probably her biggest insecurity, which is that she will be labeled and kind of like um, edited as the oldest bachelorette. So at that point, the fight's over. He lost. He's in the wrong. I don't care if people want to call me a simp or what or this or that. I stand by that. Hey, maybe one day I'll see Yosef out there and my my opinion on, on that situation won't change. I don't think he's a horrible person. I think he's the type of person that cannot, in whatever survival mode he's in, 
apologize for something, especially if it feels forced or coerced. So for him to say, I think we can all know the situation could have been handled more appropriately. I think that's the closest we're going to get out of him. Um, and the other people say, that's not an apology. Oh yeah. You're not going to get that out of him. Not, you know, not unless he, you know, until his dying day, I don't think he's going to change his, his, his thoughts there. I actually did think when he, that he was going to apologize with Chris Harrison. And I do like the idea of somebody not apologizing because other people want them to. So I don't even need an apology from him, nor is it my place to ask. It's none of my business. I'm just recapping this mess. But at the same time, it would be nice if he figured out a way to laugh along with it and realize that he's not exactly right in the way he handled it. And it's less about the guys showing their speedos and more about how he, how he used Claire's biggest weakness. Uh, at least, you know, you know, talking about that she's the oldest bachelorette as a, as a sort of, um, you know, bullet in his arsenal there. So I don't think we have any, any other more comments from him. That's your update. You never know where you're going to get your updates, but that's your update on the Yosef situation. It's, it spills into this season. Patreon.com slash Dave Neal. I'll be live at 10 a.m. today with a special Patreon talking to you guys about all the behind-the-scenes dealings going on. And also, don't forget, go to Instagram at Neal's. I got a show Friday night in Los Angeles if you want to come laugh. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye, everybody.